Hi. Hey neighbors, how you doing? Today we are in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, and we're gonna go shopping in the little snack store or the supermarket. Join us. So they have signs uh, letting you know no mask, no service. And I notice all the shops have like little bells here. It says green bell to enter. It looks really clean in here. They have different drinks just like the US. So we were just wanting to check out what other items they may have that they don't have stateside. Well, I should say stateside um, mainland because the US uh, Virgin Island is part of the United States. That's like a really big thing of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> you see? Oh, big caramel macchiato from Starbucks. You know what this is? Red cabbage, $3.49. A 1.75 of Coke. But so far, we have seen just about the same things we would see. We have patties there. Mm -hmm. Turkey, sausage, cheddar muffins. There are vegetables. Larger cans of Coke, that's for sure. Have vegan selections. So this is a supermarket that we would come to, like a corner store. We'd call it a corner store. A lot of hangers. I haven't seen this many hangers in a long time. Let's see if they have any different. The bell that's different. I don't think I'm familiar with that. There's also this one here. It pretty much looks the same as any other store I've been in, usually the island stores have different items than we do. But this one looks pretty standard. This is a favorite of mine. My mom used that, my grandma used that. We use it for quite a few different recipes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks good. West Indy hot sauce. Have you ever tried this before? Let me know in the comments below. That looks really good. I usually look at also when I go into stores what has dust on it and what does not. That tells me a lot uh, about how well the product is moving. If they have dust, then obviously it's been sitting there for a while. A lot of this brown sugar is gone. A lot of different spams. I know that's used in a lot of recipes. Corned beef. I've never heard of this brand. Loma Linda. A lot of seasonings. Not very many. Oh, I would love to take that big one home with me. I love, our house loves adobo. Let's, let's go back to those different, the different types of adobo. And you'll see that in my other videos too. I always go down the spice aisle 
and check out the different spices from different locations where I am at. Just to see what people are using. It's pretty interesting. Got a sanitizer down there. Some hair products here. Oh, look what they have, Aquanet. Mike, they have oil back here. Yes, sir. Moving like an anti years old. Let's see what these are. Are you, are you Ooh. So we originally came in looking for oil. No, there's coconut oil right there. That's perfect. We will grab that. Oh, look at these. Mike, you might like these. Yeah. To try. I've never seen the different types. But maybe it's just me. That's you have, I guess, all the good stuff back there <laughs> behind the corner. I bag Good selection of alcohol. Better than some of our little markets, right? Oh, look at this. White oak coconut, watermelon, and sorrel flavored rum. So these are pretty. Oh, have you ever tried cherry? I've never tried that one. Let me know in the comments if you've tried that or how good that brand is at all. This is the best Moscato, the Asi right there. That Rufino is so good. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Little Market in St. Croix. We are going to pick something to drink and enjoy our day. So I hope you enjoy your day too, because you'll never get it back. Bye, and please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.